Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Why are there no Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh? A summary has been published on the fact-finding report. Apparat continues its activities in Eastern Armenia. Armenian guardman Hachisar. In the international media, the ambassador spoke about the problems on preserving the Armenian cultural heritage in Artsakh. Educate the Educator, a program for people forcibly displaced from Artsakh. In the region of Vardzor, Hachkars have received a new life. Our country will have one athlete who will participate in the 31st Summer Olympic Games in Paris. The report documents how the population of Artsakh was deliberately subjected to periodic attacks, blockades and intimidation by Baku, as a result of which the fundamental rights of the people of Artsakh were grossly violated and the population deprived of everyday living conditions. The report was jointly prepared by Freedom House, International Partnership for Human Rights, Vanadzor Office of the Democracy Development Fund, Helsinki Civil Assembly, Law Development and Defense Fund, Protection of Rights Without Borders and Truth Hunts. During more than 330 interviews with witnesses, gross violation of human rights, international humanitarian law and international criminal law norms were recorded by the Baku authorities. The presentation discussion of the summary of the report took place on July 1. The full version of the report will be available in September 2024. After the Artsakh tragedy of 2023, the Artsakh press stopped working. The printing of the Aparaj weekly newspaper was also stopped, but the Aparaj website continued to function, which has not stopped its activity regardless of their creative situation and difficulties. Aparaj in Artsakh has a political, public and literary newspaper first published in 1917 in the city of Shushi. After a long break, it was published in 1991 and covered the course of Artsakh liberation struggle, the path of the Armenian people's struggle until today to install ideological and national values. During the 44-day war of 2020, the publication of the weekly newspaper was temporarily stopped and was republished in the spring of 2021, but the website since 2010 has continued its activity in all situations. Aparaj continues its activities in Eastern Armenia, remaining loyal to its readers, said the statement. Hachisar is an ancient Armenian village with centuries-old culture, which is currently located in Baku, 22 kilometers southwest of the city of Shamhor and surrounded by mountains on four sides. The best evidence for the village that it has a centuries-old history are monuments, the remains of fortresses, Hachkars, tombstones, chapels, the church, the 14th-14th century's fortress of Shamhor and Galaboyuni by Prince Vahram. The village was previously located on the eastern slope of Hachisar mountain, then gradually spread and occupied the western slope as well. Over the centuries, this ancient village of Hanamen has been the support and guarantor of security for more than 15 surrounding Armenian villages, the Armenian fighting, struggling spirit and symbol. According to tradition, there was a big bell on Hachisar mountain, which warned the surrounding residents about the enemy attacks. The Armenian living in Hachisar stood out for their exceptional courage and ideal fighting spirit during the Armenian Tatar conflict, despite the village's strategically inconvenient geographical and topographical position. Unfortunately, in 1987, as a result of recent impunity and inappropriate international response, the Armenian persecution destruction policy implemented by the Baku government, the forced the population of Ganzak, Shamhor, Hanlar, and other Armenian inhabited regions had unspeakable heavy consequences. In 1987, the latest violence and massacres were committed by the Baku authorities. In 1988, against the Armenians of Hachisar village caused to more terrible events. Genocide was carried out, the forced displacement of the Armenian population from their native places, which is condemned by all international laws, the UN Convention of 1948 with the Fundamental Convention. Tigran Makarchan, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Eastern Armenia to Greece, Cyprus and Albania, in an interview given to the Cyprus Financial Mirror, he emphasized that the problem is preserving the Armenian cultural heritage in Artsakh. He emphasized the issue on the right uh, to return the population and also referred to the false Western Azerbaijan propaganda by Baku, which includes Armenia. The ambassador also referred to the Armenian prisoners held in Baku and the artificial court cases initiated against them. In the interview, it is mentioned that the above-mentioned issues are the main obstacles to build peace in Armenian-Azerbaijan relations. 
The program titled Educate the Educator was concluded with an exhibition organized at the Taeyang Culture Center. Forty of our compatriots who were forcibly displaced from Artsakh participated in the free mom courses of traditional Armenian handicrafts, mastering their knowledge and skills of needlework, embroidery and pottery, making various samples of decorative and applied art, clothing, accessories, jewelry, pottery, souvenirs, etc. The purpose of the project was to contribute to the acquisitions of new professions of people forcibly displaced from Artsakh. The possibility of having their own products, the expansion of opportunities to establish cooperative relations as well as the creation of creative educational working conditions and income opportunities. In the region via Zor in Eastern Armenia, the Khachkars have received a new life, reports the Historical Cultural Reserve Museum and Historical Environmental Protection Service. It is noted that in the village of Gandevas, the employees of the Vyodzo Regional Service for the Protection of the Historical Environment found Khachkar dating back to the 13th, 14th century. It was found in the territory of the cemetery of Gandevas village dating back to the 14th of to 17th centuries. The cemetery is located in the northern part of the village, 250 meters east of the St. Astvatatin Church, where there are flat and table-shaped tombstones and Khachkar states the message. In addition, employees of the regional service raised semi-underground Khachkars in the cemetery located in the rural area of Rind settlement. The full-on Khachkars were erected in the same place. Eastern Armenia will have one athlete participated in the 33rd Summer Olympic Games in Paris. Runner Yervan Makarchan received the right to participate in the Games. The Games are less than a month away. On July 26, the opening ceremony of the main sports event of the Condrenial will take place in the capital of France. Until now, it has become known that our country secured a ticket to the Olympic Games for 14 athletes. Shooter Elmira Garabedzian, gymnasts Artur Davtian, Vahagan Davtian, wrestlers Slavi Galsian, Malkha Samoyan, Artur Aleksanyan, Arsen Hayotunyan, Vazgen Tevanyan, weightlifter Sandra Karabedzian, Garik Karabedzian, Varaz Dagdalayan, boxer David Chaloyan, and swimmers Artur Barsayan and Varsenik Manchadian. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.